Welcome back to Tameslade Info. We know that DRDO is working on a hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle project to demonstrate the performance of a scramjet engine. Under this particular project, DRDO is developing a hypersonic vehicle that will be powered by a scramjet engine and this dual technology will have multiple applications which can be used for launching satellites and also used for long-range cruise missiles. All this information is something which we all know, but this video will provide vital information about DRDO's next plan of testing with the same scramjet engine for a longer duration. After sustaining hypersonic combustion for 20 seconds, the cruise vehicle achieved a velocity of nearly 2 km per second. As per the different sources, and also through the sources of DRDO, it is said that the scramjet engine will be tested for 100 seconds, and later for 400 seconds, and then for 600 to 1000 seconds. These types of test flight would help DRDO to validate the aerodynamic configuration of vehicle, the ignition, and a sustained combustion of the scramjet engine at a hypersonic flow. Not only that, it would also help in validating the separation mechanisms and characterized thermostructural materials. For those who are not aware what actually a scramjet engine is, a scramjet engine is an improvement over the ramjet engine because the scramjet engine operates efficiently at hypersonic speeds and allows supersonic combustion. The ramjets, in contrast, operate well at supersonic speeds around Mach 3, but their efficiency drops at a hypersonic speed. To be more precise, a scramjet engine is an improvement over the ramjet engine as it efficiently operates at hypersonic speeds and allows supersonic combustion. In scramjet engines, the air flow through the entire engine remains supersonic and the scramjet technology is challenging because only limited testing can be performed in ground facilities. The hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle is said to serve as a building block for the next generation hypersonic cruise missiles. The scramjet engine needs to perform in a textbook manner for further long duration sustained tests that will lead to the development of a full-fledged hypersonic cruise missile program. DRDO has a greater challenge to finish the pending test of the scramjet engine for a longer duration which is very vital for developing the hypersonic cruise missiles. The hypersonic cruise missiles will have a range of 2500 kilometers and are expected to enter service by 2024 tentatively. So let's expect DRDO completes all required ground tests in a successful manner to eventually pave the way for the development of hypersonic weapons. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.